morning. You know, a lot of people right now talking about the need for CPR training, especially after DeMar Hamlin's collapse on the field. We want to get out now to our Evan Koslov, who is live at a CPR training spy spot in Reston. Uh, Evan, this can be so crucial. We know seconds really matter in an emergency. Right, every second counts uh, because, you know, one to two minutes might not sound like much time, but if you're not getting blood to the brain, it could be truly life-saving to get CPR. That's why we've got the dummy here, and more importantly, we've got the doctor here to explain it all for us. This is Dr. Kyle Shahadad. Uh, and first off, just wh why is CPR so important? Hi, good morning, Kevin. So CPR is cardiopulmonary resuscitation. So you're trying to resuscitate somebody's heart and lung. So when someone's heart and lung stop, they basically die, and this is what defines death. So you're they, are, they are dead for those They're moments. Dead, exactly, so we're trying to bring them back from death. And so you're saying three to five minutes? So between three to five minutes without blood supply or oxygen supply to the brain, the brain cells start to die after three to five minutes. So it's the first few minutes that are crucial to start CPR, to initiate CPR on somebody who needs it, to bring them back or at least keep them alive until we hand them over to advanced care. So CPR does bring, life, bring people back from death and save lives. So you, so you, uh, you shouldn't necessarily wait for the medical professional if somebody needs it. So what are those situations? When should you start giving CPR? So we start CPR when someone is unresponsive and they don't have a pulse and they're not breathing. Now for the public, we tell them you don't have to worry about checking a pulse. Sometimes, you know, it's difficult to check a pulse or it's an advanced technique. So only look for the chest rise. If someone is not breathing, someone is not getting oxygen to their body, they need CPR. So put them on a flat firm surface, expose their chest, and you start uh, doing compressions on the chest. In about 35 seconds or so, let's do a uh, Spark Notes version of the training. It won't be the full thing, obviously, so, but in 35 seconds or so. So you approach somebody who's going to tap and chat if they're unresponsive. Hey, hey, are you okay? If they're not responsive, call some, can, Kevin, can you please call 911, get me an AD. They need to check, look for the chest rise really quick, about five to 10 seconds. If they're not breathing, flat firm surface, expose the chest, put your hands on the top of the chest, and then we start doing compressions. So How am I doing? How's my form? That, you want to go a little bit deeper. Okay. Up here. <laughs> you want to go all the way. Exactly. Get that click. Uh huh. And you want to do 30 compressions. Then you want to deliver two breaths with a pocket mask. You're going to seal, tilt the head back, and open them. And you want to get chest rise, one breath. Wait one second. Then you're going to jump back on the chest. Again, you want to do 30 compressions, then two breaths. One breath, then one breath. Now, once. And, 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 you know, we're going to be back in about 20 minutes or so to talk okay. about more things that are really helpful, including the AED. AED we'll talk about so AED. let's uh, see you guys in about 20 minutes where we're going to break all that down. We've also got the uh, how to do CPR on a baby. Infants, yes. It all seems really important stuff. So I'll send it back to you guys from here in Reston. But, yeah, we're learning this morning.